do his actions. Welcome to PBX Boxing Tips. I'm your host, Roderick, and today I'm gonna show you a little bit about the jab. This channel will be based on like fitness, health, boxing as the main focus, but it's also be based on exercise, how to do good techniques, and how to create different patterns when you're doing boxing covering the basic jab and how to do it right I'll show you the do's and the don'ts and what to follow when you're doing the jab so here behind me I have the heavy bag and I'm just gonna show you how to do the basic jab and how to straighten and get a better technique on each of your jab that you're throwing it doesn't have to be quick but if you have a good jab you also have a good offense and a good at um, defense at the same moment and I'm gonna just walk you through it and show you, break it down for you so you can have a better understanding on how to do, do an efficient jab when you're actually throwing it. So you wanna double up on your jab, kinda move when you're jabbing, you don't wanna stay like grounded one place and you do not want to jab flat footed okay you want to stay on your toes so if you take a look at my feet for the moment when I jab you notice my feet go like this just to push the momentum that I've stored in my left leg to the punch to the, to the heavy bag I mean so for instance one two three four every time I hit the bag I stand firm, I go back to my heel. So I stay on the to my toes when I'm starting, go back to my heel in case I have to catch a shot and I have to stay grounded or I have to move, he can't topple me over or he can't push me back or corner me because I have my ground. So let me walk over it again. Quick and easy and efficient. Do your jab right and opponents gonna be having a hard time getting in close. For me, a jab is a great technique because I'm a taller fighter and I'm gonna try to keep you on the outside and try to beat you down. Instead of like coming in there and so you can actually get, get a hit on me. I'm gonna try to stay on the outside, I have long arms I'm tall, so I'm gonna stay on the outside and try to get you to walk in, set you up for the right hand. Stay on your toes when you jab, kind of cut some stuff out. Do not try to stay flat footed. So here I'm gonna cover the don'ts when you jab it. A lot of people will show you a jab where they're actually fishing with the jabs. Of course it's faster, but you're open to get hit. You have a lot more liability to get hurt. So here's what, not a mistake, I see a lot of maybe sometimes trainers teaching their fighters. This jab right here. If you notice, my hands are not coming back to my chin. They're still out there. My hands are still out there. It's not coming back. That's how the jab is supposed to work. But you have this jab right here, where your hands, you're shadowing your opponent. But what if your opponent decided to catch the jab and follow up? you're gonna get hit. Because if he catch that jab when you put it out there, catch your hands and pull it down and step in and hit you with a right hand, I guarantee you're gonna be stunned. You're gonna have maybe a concussion. You're gonna maybe have a knockout on your hand. So kind of stay away from that jab. You want a jab, pull your hands right back to your chin. Stay on your toes when you hit the jab, kind of have a little bit of movement. So in case he decided to fire, and you decide to fire right hand, you move a little bit. Get out of that way. Let's go. That's it. Not a mistakes again, I see with a jab. You have a lot of person rolling the jab, 
are fishing. You're never fish in boxing. This is not a sport where you're actually playing with water. You're playing with fire every time with boxing. You don't fish with your punch. Are you doing this? You're fishing with your punch. The opponent is side and he's sharp enough to actually catch that jab and then counter with a hook. You're gonna catch a hook from the left hand, not the hook on a string. So basically you wanna keep your jab straight down the pipe. Hands blocking your nose. Pull it right back to your chin. Kinda always try to cover your nose. Try to use your, your shoulders to cover your chin. And the reason for this, if the opponent decided to eat a jab, he decided to fire a hook. My chin is there already, covering me from that hook. Can't get in there. If he decided to come underneath, I still can hook him with an uppercut. Pulling my hands back, hook him with an uppercut. Kind of lower him, set him back where he's coming from, and then back away from him. Just so I could see where he's gonna go, then I fire a couple power shots in there. Keep your hands high when you jab. Don't put them too low. Even if you're going down the pipe, just like this. You want to keep your shoulders high. Shoulders are still high. I'm going down the pipe. I'm going for the solar plex, which is right here. Right in the top part of the, of the, of the, the belly right here. Keep it nice and tight. Even if it's slower, it doesn't matter. You're a beginner boxer. You want to take your time, learn the craft, learn the good technique, work your way up. In no time, maybe three months or so, you might have a quicker jab, maybe than me. So keep your hands on. Keep your jab tight. Do not fish with your jab. Don't do that, man. Don't do it. Not a good jab to do. Keep your hands high. Pull them back to your chin every time you fire that shot. That's it for BBX Boxing. I'm your host, Roderick. Like, share, subscribe. Thanks for any comments, any critiques you have out there. I'll be more than happy to answer them and do a follow. Appreciate it. Peace.